Hello everyone, this is Nitpick Nerd and today I want to talk about a new show called Silo and uh, I stumbled upon it by complete accident and it immediately piqued my interest because it reminded me of something which I loved from my childhood, namely my favorite computer game of all time called Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 and uh, that game began with you coming out of a vault uh, where uh, the remains of humanity lives because uh, the planet was destroyed by a nuclear war and is a wasteland and so the survivors live inside vaults underground and then something breaks and then they send you the player out to find some part from another vault in order to fix their vault and so the game does not really take place that much inside those vaults but it always intrigued me as well how exactly did they live down there for so long and so on so that's something that was not really seen that much in that game and that's what we kind of see in this show. It's not directly related to Fallout, even though I think it probably did inspire the books that this show is based on, since those books came out much later. And there are some visual similarities as well, like uh, everything inside is kind of futuristic, but also retro at the same time. And that was the style of Fallout as well. It was like set uh, centuries in the future, and yet the technology seemed to be similar to the 1950s since I guess that's when those vaults were set up in the Cold War. It was never really explained in the game, but it had a certain style to it. And so I immediately noticed something similar in this new show and just the idea of it, of seeing life inside an underground bunker where thousands of people live. It's something interesting, in my opinion, and so that's why I kept watching. And the show is pretty good so far. Especially the first two episodes uh, had that whole mystery and they kind of revealed the, the twist right away that the outside is not exactly as it seems from the inside and so that was interesting. They didn't yet explain why that is the case, what's the reason for all these secrets and deception and all of that. Uh, I remember in Fallout 2 there was a mention that the whole vault project, there were numerous vaults and uh, it was set up deliberately with all kinds of strange uh, rules because it was part of some huge social experiment. So they deliberately designed each vault with some unique property just to test out humanity in a way. And so I suspect the same kind of explanation will be here, that maybe there's more than one silo. And so I suspect that will be the big twist, that it's part of some bigger experiment by powerful people. And the way that this silo is set up, there are numerous levels. I think they said 144 levels. And they seem to be divided like the upper class and lower class literally like the lower you go in that silo the poorer the people are and the higher you go the richer they are and also for some reason there are no elevators there is no mechanized way to get up or down and so it's difficult it takes sometimes days to get from one place to the other and so it creates a kind of interesting society which is like a metaphor to real life in some ways and it kind of reminds me of that movie and TV show called The Snowpiercer, which was about all of humanity living on a train, and the farther back you go on the train, that's where the poorer people are. And so it's a similar idea here, only here it's literally up or down, and they have all these laws and restrictions, and so it's kind of a dystopian society, which is kind of interesting to see. Now, it's nowhere near as interesting as Fallout, because in Fallout, most of the game was on the outside surface where a lot of crazy stuff was happening and so the vault part was just a small part of it. It was never really explored that much. So I do not think this will be as interesting as an actual Fallout show, which I think is coming as well. I think I read somewhere there is going to be a Fallout TV series, which I am excited for. But this show is also interesting that just to get to see life inside the vault, which we didn't really get to see that much of in the Fallout games. It was just the beginning and a few times you visited some other vaults, but most of the game was not about that. And that's something that always kind of interested me to get to see more of. And so I am glad we have this show to kind of see that. And the show itself is pretty well made. The, the acting is good, the, the sets are interesting, and the whole mystery element of it is good. And so I enjoyed the first two episodes. After that, it did kind of become slower and kind of, I don't want to say boring, because I did still enjoy the whole idea of just seeing how life there looks like and so I'm not wanting to hate on the show but it did become kind of slower and also realizing we're probably not going to see the outside that much and so it's not going to be a fallout show and so that kind of disappointed me a little bit but it's still kind of good in its own way. Now I'm not sure yet how much I recommend the show because I don't yet know where it's going, how long it will take 
to see some more interesting stuff and how clever or how logical it all will be in the end and so I'm refraining from recommending the show yet. I'm guessing if you are a big Fallout fan like me you will probably enjoy at least the first two episodes. It will be, if you just imagine it's like in the same universe then it can be fun. It will also provide some great uh, material for some fan edits in the future, you know, if uh, the Fallout show will neglect to show life in the vault properly, we can kind of unite it together, maybe use parts of uh, this show and parts of that show and some other movies maybe to make an even better Fallout fan movie in the future. And so for that alone, I will give this show some high points because uh, it was nice to see that. And also the whole social experiment kind of aspect of it, the whole society in this setting with its retro futurism and its uh, dystopian ideas and all of that uh, is kind of fun and so i do kind of enjoy the show even though it did kind of get slower the more you go and uh, i'm only now getting to the sixth episode and so it's kind of too early to judge so that's all for now let me know what you think and we can discuss it in the comments below and i'll see you all next time bye bye